Welcome to IPOB Rapture Media, IPOB Press Release, 17th of June, 2024. Ndigbo should ignore every deceptive lobby to invest in Lagos. The attention of the global family and movement of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, ably led by the great leader, Mazi Namdi Okwuchukwu Kanu, has been drawn to the deceptive letter from a group of faceless Yoruba leaders and stakeholders calling on Igbo communities in Lagos State for a dialogue. And Igbo must not fall into any deception to continue investments in Lagos State, where their investments are not protected. As much as IPOB does not oppose any genuine dialogue between the Yorubas and Digbo in Lagos State, IPOB will object to any dialogue that is intended to lure Ndigbo to continue investing in the hostile environment of Lagos State. Ndigbo have done all they can to belong to Nigeria, but Nigeria keeps rejecting Ndigbo with exclusivity and ethnic bigotry policies. Ndigbo has lost millions of investments and lives in the northern and western regions of Nigeria. In the north, Ndigbo are always the victims of any religious and political riots during which northerners destroy, loot, and burn down businesses and properties belonging to Ndigbo. Recently, in the western region, particularly in Lagos State, Biafran's businesses and properties have been targeted by the Lagos state government criminals, and we will no longer tolerate our people to continue investing in Yoruba land. Lagos state is not Igbo land. Lagos state government has demolished properties and investment of Ndigbo. Many Igbo-dominated markets in Lagos have either been demolished or burnt down and taken over by the Lagos state government. On the basis of the aforementioned, any Igbo person investing in the northern and western regions of Nigeria needs DNA tests. IPOB calls on all Biafrans to stop investing in Yoruba land and Arawa land. All investments should be channeled to Biafran land. Our people who invested in Biafra land are doing well and are helping to create jobs for our youth. Biafrans have been an engine of growth in any society they find themselves in. In all parts of the world where Ndigbo resides, they directly or indirectly contribute to the development of that area. It's in our DNA to build others alongside ourselves, and we cannot stop because it is our covenant with God Almighty, Chukwu Okike Abiyama, to bring light wherever we go. However, enough of investing in the hostile regions of Nigeria where our investments are not secure. Let us take our investments to Igbo land, where our investments will be safe. Where was this Yoruba group when their governor Sonwo Olu and the Lagos House of Assembly promulgated a bigotry law that targeted Ndi Igbo's businesses and properties in Lagos? How many of Ndigbo were compensated after their businesses and properties were demolished? Ndigbo should go back home and invest and forget Yoruba land. Irrespective of the state-sponsored insecurity Fulani stooges called governors used to deter investments, Alegbo is still more conducive and secure for investment compared to the enemy territories of the West and the North. Ndigbo should know that Nigeria dislikes the audacity and ambitious spirit of an Igbo person. Instead of learning and adapting to the doggedness of Ndigbo, many Nigerians envy us. This unwarranted envy Jealousy and blessings of Chukwu Okike Abiyama is the reason that Ndigbo is being targeted. The same envy made the revered Yoruba leader, late Obafemi Awolowo, a Nigerian finance minister in the 1960s, promulgated an economic annihilation decree that led to Nigeria paying every rich Igbo person who had money in any Nigerian bank 20 pounds, irrespective of how much they had in any Nigerian bank, after the Nigeria Genocidal War against Biafra. Similarly, the same government promulgated abandoned property law against Ndigbo during that genocidal war with Igbo brothers in Port Harcourt and elsewhere to create enmity with brothers, uncles, and cousins. The abandoned property law gave other malicious Nigerians rights to ownership of houses and properties that belonged to Ndigbo after the genocidal war, but Yorubas and the Northern Elders refused to do the abandoned properties against Ndigbo in their own lands. Any Igbo person who continues to invest in Lagos and in the North with the current state of events needs his brain examination. 
the West and North did not indulge in abandoned properties, but decided to destroy Indigbo investments and properties in their own regions. Returning your property and investments home is a signal to our willingness for Biafra, freedom and sovereignty. Do not allow yourself to be a victim of abandoned property or disseminatory policies. Indigbo must not fall into the repetitive deception of the so-called One Nigeria. The ethnic sentiments displayed against Ndigbo because of Mr. Peter Obi's presidential ambition cannot be overstated. That should be an eye-opener to all. There is a lot of land in Igboland and a young and vibrant population to make businesses boom. Together, we can build our own Dubai and Japan of Africa in Biafra land. Comrade Emma, powerful media and publicity secretary for IPOB. Please don't forget to support the ESN at www.ipob.org.